the wheel of fortune cycles luck and fortune of course <laughs> So, these people are very lucky in their life. Fortune is close to them all the time if they know how to recognize the signs when the universe, when life gives them opportunities and they don't overthink it or they're not going into, you know, apathy with things or not being lazy or too scared to jump on the wave of their lucky wave and they take the opportunities, they act on it when they show themselves in their life, yes, life will be easy and great for these people. Um, if they don't know how to recognize or jump on that um, lucky wave, um, yeah, even the luckiest energy can have challenges, you know, but generally this is... Um, a very positive energy very light and uh, you just gotta know how to recognize the signs and work with life together there are a lot of cycles um, in this because wheel of fortune right it's kind of like cyclical uh, situation there so lots of cycles maybe in, in your work and just generally in life you gotta know that your life might be sort of up and down sometimes and when you're up you gotta prepare for when you're down just so your down is not as um, distracting to you this this or like stressful so you just know that it's fine it's gonna come back you know this is how it goes it's always uh, like that and it's normal for you you gotta learn how to just um, take life easier lighter uh, just be that positive chill person in a way you gotta know when to take a break and just relax allow yourself to relax but it doesn't mean that you never work and you never do um, anything you know don't bring any value to the society no it just means that you don't have to uh, have that energy of I'm fighting against the world you know it's kind of like uh, easier for you in the energy and then when you are in that energy life will be like that for you if this energy is out of balance it can show up as laziness and inability to recognize opportunities that the world gives you kind of being scared to go into the new opportunities and just not taking like not co-creating with the uh, lucky energy that is around you and at some point you you just like stagnate there and uh, sometimes uh, people can get like really lazy with this energy because they see how sometimes thing, uh, things come in uh, easily for them and they just um, can fall into the tendency of uh, going too much into relaxation so make sure you are staying centered and in the balance with it do not go uh, too much into pushing yourself but I don't know how to relax and uh, chill and uh, you know sometimes yeah take a break when you feel like you really need it but that's only for you know certain time it's not that you break uh, that you're always on a break <laughs> right mean maybe uh, on the inside meaning that you are not uh, stressing and uh, you're but you're still doing stuff you're still bringing the value to the world and you kind of surrendered you know that's uh, if you know Michael Singer, Singer Michael Singer and his book surrender experiment read it that's literally the um, way for this energy to live that's and he is his personality and his I think life purpose is actually that energy which is really crazy when I've uh, read his book and I've heard him talk about it I'm like oh my god that sounds just um, like 
energy tan, the wheel of fortune, uh, should be living their life. That sounds just like a big uh, way of like the most positive way how this energy can live their life. Total surrendering. And uh, I was thinking to check if he has this, uh, if the author of this book obviously has this energy in his chart. And I'm like, if he doesn't, I don't believe in this uh, system anymore. <laughs> you know, and then I open up his chart and his personality, his central number is 10, and I think his uh, life purpose is also 10, but I don't remember exactly. But yeah, how crazy is that? Surrender experiment, if you have this number in the, your chart, highly recommend.